Hey, tell us, what would you do without all this help in the kitchen? I'd probably have a lot more work to do. <laughs> You're a little sous chef. What's up, guys? And welcome back to another episode of Super Cooper Sun. We're up there. I couldn't find you. You were already in there. Good boy. What are you getting? This is not something we typically use in our cooking no, episodes. An okay. instant pot? Coop, what do you want to put in there? Do you see anything? There's coffee and peppercorn and salt refills in there. I don't know what he could possibly think it smells delicious. I bet it smells pretty good. What's up guys and welcome to our St. Patrick's Day special. This is a very exciting episode because we are trying a recipe that Chels has never attempted before for dogs or for humans. There's a whole lot happening in here. What's going on? We are going to make a dog friendly corned beef and cabbage. Which just so you know, corned beef, like the, the human food is not safe for dogs. It's not actually gonna be corned beef. Yeah, so basically it's gonna be more like a pot roast cause it's not gonna have any of the things that make the beef corned beef, but. What makes beef corned? Uh, Do the, you even... I think it's like the spices, like the peppercorn and the spices that are put on it, but obviously we're omitting. That's what it, corned beef means peppercorn, really? No, I don't know if that's exactly what it means. I'm just saying like, if you have like fajita meat, it's still steak, right? But it's right. seasoned like fajita meat. So okay. corned beef is beef that's seasoned like, okay. you, get, you get it. We're gonna cook it in the Instant Pot and then when it's about halfway done, we're gonna add just the veggies that dogs can have. So we're gonna do carrots, potatoes, and cabbage. And then after we have our dinner, we're gonna have a special little green treat. How's that sound to you, Coop? What do you think? Beef, carrots, cabbage, cookies, all of the above? Oh, this is gonna be good. Good morning. You're welcome to try some too. Look at her, She's she likes this tower, this teeny tiny tower that barely fits her, but she always just hangs out. What do you think about that, Coop? Don't Look at that big, it, big slab of meat, don't huh? Someone's a big fan of whatever you're doing here. He, he likes girl. this. That is a stinky piece of meat. Reduced sodium beef broth. Yes, we're gonna nice put and healthy. In there, but I think we need to have a little chef taste. Ah, I gotta make sure the ingredients are up to par. Well. He was licking before that spoon ever got to his face. Do you wanna try some? <laughs> you can try. You wanna try some beef broth? Oh. You gotta commit. Either do it or don't. Good girl. Got a little taste. Good. The most boy. polite of all. Okay, so now we're just gonna pour this over so it covers it a little bit here. Going about halfway up the meat? Yeah. It's so weird to not put seasoning on anything. <laughs> So it's gonna be so bland, but that's okay. Even reduced salt, like everyone loves salt, come on. I know. Who doesn't love salt? This would be the worst step. Good thing you're not making this for us. For the record, if you don't have an Instant Pot, you can still follow like a crock pot recipe or a stove top recipe. Just remember they can't have garlic, onions, or any of the seasoning. So you really only wanna do the beef, the broth, and then the veggies that we're gonna do. So we've got 30 minutes on the meat, and then it's gonna be time to prep the veggies. It's a good thing you've got your little sous chefs over here to help out. You never really know. Yes, they should be tipped. Always important to have way too many chefs in the kitchen. Whoever came up with that term was just wrong. There's no such thing as too many chefs. What do you think about this? Oh. Is this gonna take some? You guys just wanna take some? Coda's going to go for a leafy green. Good, no. good boys. If you bite it with purpose, you might be able to get it. Coda's over there still licking the same little piece he had. Kind of like an all or nothing guy. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Beef is cooking, veggies are prepped, and the oven is preheating to 350. Coop, what's the next part? This might be the best part. I actually don't know which part they're going to like more. We're actually being sneaky sneaky because there's spinach in the dessert. Is it really? Yeah, well, because we need the color. We're gonna do two eggs, a cup and a half to two cups, depending on spinach. Here you go, sir. Would you like to sample? <laughs> Get it, good boy. Oh, I didn't know if he was gonna take it. <laughs> oh. I present to you one spinach. Let's see if he eats it. Oh, I don't think either one of them really like it that much. <laughs> that face is not convincing. You know why they will like it, though? Peanut butter. That's gonna make all the difference. Now, if you have more than one pet, that means you probably have more than one sous chef. So what I would suggest is doling this out in two separate spoons, or three or four, six or 10, and then make sure that every sous chef can go ahead and just get a little tasty taste. Good boys. Look at that 
peanut butter mustache he's working on there. What in the world is that? So this is spirulina. It's used in a lot of like the green juices and the green smoothies and stuff. It's from an algae, I believe, but we're just gonna use a little bit of that. A little goes a long way, and it's gonna give us more color. So now we're just gonna blend that up again. Last but not least, two and a half cups of whole wheat flour. As you can see, we're adding it in slowly, and it's starting to take like a form of the dough. Wow, here. how yummy that looks. I will say, it smells very strongly of peanut butter. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think that'll be a win in their book. Coop, it's time to release the steam. He likes whatever you're doing here. While that finishes releasing, we can roll out the dough. Dog bone shaped cookie cutters are optional, but a nice lucky treat. Bones. Lucky bones. These, I mean, it's it's green. I'm interested to see the color that comes out of the oven. Yeah, me too. It's a little, it's a little dark. Meat comes out. Oh, look at that. The veggies are gonna go in with the meat and then we're gonna let it cook for another 15 minutes. It's basically like a big doggy meat veggie stew. Pretty this looks much, really yeah. good. So 15 more minutes on that, 15 more minutes on the cookies. Yep. And we're good to go. They turned out mainly brown, but we're gonna we're gonna pretend like they're green, right? They they got <laughs> green in them. I'm Green. Specks of green, it still counts. Look at this plating presentation. This is a five star doggy cuisine here. Got a little extra juice on top. Oh my gosh. Uh, my mouth is actually watering a little bit. You did well here. Come on boys, come eat. Coop, you gotta make space. You gotta make space for him. Coda, come on. Go to the table. Good boys. We know what we're doing. I love how all three came. <laughs> I wouldn't say these are the world's harshest food critics, but uh, I don't know. Coda can be pretty harsh sometimes. Good boys. What's the favorite? Looks like Coda's going for the meat for sure. Koopy went for the meat as well. Now getting into the carrots and veggies. He's Coda's like, just going for the meat. Cooper's probably like, why are these carrots not crunching? <laughs> Maybe cooked veggies aren't our thing. But hey, still a pretty good meal. Not gonna lie. You killed it, babe. Nice job. Rating table manners here. It looks like we have a lot of drool and excess crumbs over here on the left. On the right, we're looking a little cleaner. Don't worry, boys. <laughs> they have synchronized licking their chops. Second and final course is almost here. What do we have for dessert? We have a spinach and peanut butter specialty. Wow, I lovely. will say that these got a nice crunch to them. Crunchy finish to the meal. Texture is always important in the food that you're eating. So we had kind of a mushy cooked mess before and now this is a nice crunchy savory. Dakota just committed to the Into it. Dakota. He's trying his best. He's, he just can't get it up. There you go. You want to try a bite? Test your, your cooking. Tastes like pot roast that needs salt and pepper. I would, I would eat that. That's what I'm saying. It tastes like a pot roast that needs salt and pepper. I don't even think it needs it. I think it's good, as it is. Would you like to try a small piece? Yes, she would. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys have a great rest of your weekend. We are gonna see you guys next Sunday here on Super Cooper Sunday. We have some very exciting episodes coming up soon. We mentioned it in the last episode, but uh, summer has pretty much arrived here in Florida. So a lot more outside, a lot more in the water and things like that. This right here is a little sneak preview. Don't open with a blade. Take your guesses. You'll see that in the next couple episodes. It's going to be a lot of fun. We'll see you guys later.